trusty GoPro. I have lenses for the iPhone, the gimbal, which it's on right now. I have, this is for the gimbal. I have a bag, I have my lens bag. I have no other backpack other than the one I packed with. Denise is at work. My only job for today is to go out and shoot a vlog in Little Italy. Little Italy, Little Italy, Little Italy, Little Italy. Little Italy. It's a tough one to say. My problem though, is if I take my big backpack, it's gonna be kinda clunky and I'm planning on riding a scooter. This is what you call first world problems. So, I think we're just gonna roll with this. Just this guy. My phone in my pocket, no gimbal, no lenses. We're gonna be less with more. We have to get on, we have to get on. We have so much time and so little to do. Strike that, reverse it. Yep, we're gonna be less with more. <laughs> okay. Which reminds me actually of a story that I just read recently about a Mexican fisherman and a Harvard MBA business grad who was an investment banker. The investment banker, he got put on doctor's orders to take a leave of absence from work because he'd had a bad run of luck, I guess you could say. And the order was to take a vacation, to go down to Mexico, find a beach somewhere, and think nothing about business. Well, he followed the orders, and in his first day out there, he went fishing. He was sitting out at the pier, hadn't had any luck on catching any fish, but he was relaxing, and he saw pretty soon this boat come rolling in, this Mexican fisherman. So I guess it's a good thing that I am doing this be more with less thing because my gimbal fell apart right there because uh, it ran out of battery because I didn't charge it. So anyway, yeah, there was this Mexican fisherman coming in. Uh, oh, hang on here. Oh yeah, we're gonna do that. So it's kind of hard to hold this and Our Mexican fisherman comes in. The businessman watches as this fisherman rolls in, and as he gets to shore, he pulls three big yellowfin tuna off of his boat. Obviously, the Mexican fisherman knows what he's doing, and the businessman doesn't. So he approaches him and asks him how long it took him to catch those three big yellowfin tuna. The Mexican replies, not very long. So the businessman asks him, why didn't you stay out longer and catch more fish? And the Mexican man said, well, I've got all I need for today. So it only took you a couple of hours, so what are you gonna do with the rest of your day? And the Mexican man says, well, I'll go home, I'll play with my kids, take a siesta with my wife, we'll cook this fish, we'll eat, I'll go into town, uh, I'll sip some wine, I'll play some guitar with my amigos, and call it a night, I'll go to bed, I'll wake up tomorrow, and I'll go fishing. And the businessman laughed, he said, you know, I have my Harvard MBA, I'm an investment banker, I could help you. And the Mexican man says, oh yeah, how's that? So the businessman tells him the first thing that he's gonna wanna do is stay out the rest of the day and fish. The Mexican man says, now why would I wanna do that? And he said, well, so you can sell the rest of your catch, make some more money and buy a bigger boat. He says, well, why do I wanna buy a bigger boat? He says, well, then you can go out and catch even more fish. And eventually, as you sell these, you can buy an entire fleet of boats. Of course, the Mexican man is puzzled now. He can't imagine why he would want to buy an entire fleet of boats. So he asks, Senor, why is it that I would need an entire fleet of boats? And the businessman tells him, well, you'll want to have a fleet so that you can earn more money and eventually buy your own cannery. That way you can control the processing, the product, and the distribution. Of course, you're going to have to leave this small coastal fishing village and you'll probably move to somewhere like Mexico City where you can run your empire of boats. The Mexican man says, but senor, how long will all this take? And he says, well, roughly 15 to 20 years at the most. And then what? He says, well, that's the best part. You announce it as an IPO, trade it publicly and make millions. The senor, millions? What do I do then? The fisherman says, well, then you retire. 
but we're tired. Where? And to do what? Said the fisherman. And the man said, well, that's when you move to a small coastal fishing town. You fish for a few hours a day. You take your catch home. You play with your kids. Have a siesta with your wife. Cook your dinner. Go into town. Sip some wine. And play guitar with your amigos. Aha! Aha! That doesn't make sense. So in the midst of talking, I passed it, but now I'm back. Let's go have one. Jumps the boogie while the bees with a black hoodie and baggy jeans. Got that heat for the rap fiends. Put rats and queens, cats in the streets. To the brothers who practice their deeds. The team team ranks, supremes, plain to see. CH lace the beat, now I'm saying my piece. Alright. Time to meet Denise. Adversary. Up jump the boogie, slap back the hoodie. Varsity letterman, never call him a rookie. Guard squad, roll hard, who was thinking the fraud? Cobra clutch, my claw, tag team, ball villain. Lost city, spit it saucy, my paws gritty. Pink, lost the stallions, they start pretty. All I'm a dad, you're so There you Ooh, go. Ooh, there's a shake shot. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Right ideas I had. Wow. When I bust tracks, the wax comes from dusty racks And it gets love for raver girls to bust the hags It's a bumpy road, but still it's a must we grab Microphone. And then we grab our Johnsons on stage like cool G rapping out loud, we're on a rampage Page and Mr. Herman Sax, big top adventure Stuck to our joints like elderly comes to dentures Venture back in time with us like Michael J. Fox Where we get deaf and rock the spot, okay hot This is James Coffee. Cheers, Here's mine Cheers, whoa, Cheers, yours mine. looks really good I got some steamed milk Oh man, you I should might... always ask for steamed milk. By the way, you'll love it. Okay, Just steamed like that. milk from here on out. Uh, so we're walking in. <laughs> I trip over the curb walking in. My shoe catches. It happens a lot to me, but anyway, it happened in front of people, so I was still kind of wearing that off. And as we're walking in, Denise is going to show me a mug, a mug behind this window pane, which it ordinarily yesterday when we came here it was open. You could walk in the shop. And not today. She she walks straight into the window pane. Whoops! I just told them the story, and they were all, "Oh no!" <laughs> just past the sitter, see where that car just went that kind of di diagonal. All right, tell them where we are, man. We are in, on Coronado Island. My dad loved this place when we lived in. LA, he used to come out here for work and tell us to come and meet him, go walk up and down the beach and go to Hotel Del Coronado. So we're doing that today in honor of Dad Dad Daddy O and we're gonna go enjoy some vitamin C. Vitamin D. C S E A, get it? Oh. Vitamin C.
successful sunset.